to this week's special edition of Ultimate Hoop Sports Nation Selection Show. Brought to you by Performance Fiberglass and Windows, where strength is given by design. I'm Jason Garrett. I'm joined here by Mackenzie Golf and Tom. We're going to jump into the seed. We're going to start out in the West region where Rock City have the number one seed locked up. Mackenzie, what are your take on Rock City? Rock City. Rock City is a pretty big team. They had a um, big player on their team by the name of Carlos Rogers. I think we yeah. all know him. He's the front runner for the MVP. Mm -hmm. um, I really think that's going to be a good matchup with uh, VB Lifestyle. Coming in at that 16th seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the one thing about VB, I mean, they've been in all their games, you know. They yeah. just got their first win last week. And I think with that first win, it's going to carry over, give them some kind of momentum and something to play for. Right, right. right. It would be a nice matchup, I, I believe so. Yeah, but then in VB, too, themselves, they got some nice shooting. They got Paulo, they have uh, Christian that can shoot. If they can get hot from outside, I think they can stick around and make a game of it. Okay, Rounding out the West region, we have the number eight Black Mambas, and then we have the number 12 um, Raleigh New Jacks. They've been struggling lately this season, but they managed to finish three and five. What do you think they need to do to get them to win? Uh, with the New Jacks, I believe that they need to do is just regain focus. I mean, they know they can they can play this game. Mm -hmm. They won. I mean, they won it last year. What they need to do is just re re need to regain focus. Once they do that, I believe they can play ball like they know how to play ball. Okay, so if you like what you see on the Ultimate Hoops website and you want to get involved with it, in order to do that, you have to be a member of Lifetime Fitness first. Good news is we got some great things going on to make that as easy as possible through this Sunday, the 11th of March. If you join by then, you'll save on your joining fees, your monthly dues, and potentially get free Pistons tickets. It's on a first come, first serve basis. Thank you. Welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at the East region where we have performance skill that sold up the number two spot. They'll be taking on a 15C hit squad out of Commerce. Uh, what are your take on performance skills? For them to lose one game and then not look back after that loss because they've just been on the terror. I mean, they've been, you know, just doing everything that they're supposed to do, scoring, you know, playing defense. It's going to, I mean, it's, it's going to be something to see in the playoffs for them. Well, like you said, playing defense. They're going to have to play some defense because this team right here is led by the point guard, uh, Devontae Pennyman. He's averaging 27 points a game. It's be a good game. Yeah, it should be a good game, I'll tell you that for sure. Right. They better watch out. Might be a blowout. Might be a blowout. The other matchup we got going in the East region is the 7th seed champions and the 11th seed Golden Gloves. Now, I got the champions coming in as a very defensive team that kind of balanced through the defense. They get blocks, they get steals. They don't allow people to score points. They ranked in the top five points allowed. I mean, in my book, that's a form of football. How do you think that the uh, Golden Gloves and Conrad? That sounds pretty good for a number 17 going against the number 11. They're led by the um, good score of John Kish. He actually got a decent game on I even heard that John Kish Garrett got a few votes for the All-Star team. Oh, yeah. 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 So, it's a sight to see. Do you have a tournament that you want to loosen up for? Or maybe you're a little sore after playing some games of basketball? Come on down to the Life Spa and let us take care of you. We're a full service salon and spa. We specialize in manicures, pedicures, and massages. So please, come by the Life Spa and let us take care of you. Welcome back, and if you just joined us, we already covered the East and the West region. Now we're gonna fly down to the South region where we have the Killers out of Canton with the number three spot in the Novines. And they'll be taking on a 14 seated Untouchables. What are your take on this game? Uh, I think it's going to be a good matchup between the Killers and the Untouchables. I like what I saw with uh, Damon Dardell, who's a you know he's a great winger. You know you know he can handle the ball, he can drive, he can shoot the outside. Jay, great player. Also with the crafty guy Jermaine Kilmore, I think it's going to be a good matchup. We got Stan Patterson here. He's a double double machine. 19 points, almost 12 rebounds a game. Then he got some championship experience on the team too with John Harrison. So um, I mean, hopefully that can rub off on the team and they can get up for this game and and, and do some things, you know. Now the other matchup in the um, South region, we have the six seed original Cable Dogs, known as OCD, matched up against the tenth seeded Close Curtains. Now I think this is going to be a real interesting matchup. Yeah. I say because one player I think will decide who wins this game. <laughs> That would be Mr. DeAndre Contrell, due to the fact that he's on both rosters. Can you believe that? I can't. The deciding factor would be, number one, who would DeAndre play for? That's the question to ask in this one. All right, let me take you up to the North region, hosted at the Rochester Lifetime, where we have the fourth seed in New Era, taking on the 13th seed in uh, the Spartans. And I think this could go two ways. It can be a defensive game, 
or it can get ugly kind of fast. Mm -hmm. Your first is steals with uh, 8.9 steals a game. That's a lot of steals. That's a lot of steals. Um, and also not to uh, mention the uh, second in points allowed. Well, up here I have a spot that third in points allowed. Well, that's what I'm saying. This could get defensive. The last and final matchup we got taking place in the North region, we have the number nine seed in Unlimited taking on the number five seed at Star Card Practice. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a game that's going to be a lot of points scored. Oh, most definitely. I mean, with uh, Star Card Practice able to you know, put up a lot of points, you know, led by their uh, number one scorer with uh, Dave Dubuca, uh, great player, inside, outside, you know, to put it on the floor. I really like Dave's game. Uh, what I really like, I want to see unlimited, led by all-star point guard Rashad Phillips. You think he can lead his team to the promised land? I was, I saw Rashad play. I saw him, put, you know, put clutch games on his shoulders and you know get his team there. Oh so, yeah, that would be. This is gonna be a good it's game. Gonna, it's gonna I think he's gonna game. bust up a few people practice. <laughs> Stop by the Life Cafe after a hard workout. We have drinks to rehydrate you and protein bars and shakes to help your body recover. We also have daily specials on fresh and healthy sandwiches, smoothies, and salads. We'll see you soon. Now that we got the scenes out the way, we got the bracket sets. It's time to have some fun. I'm talking about picks. McKenzie, who you get as your final four and who the two you got coming out? Who's going to win it? My final four picks are coming out the West, I have Rock City. Coming out the east, I have performance skills. Coming out the north, I have star chiropractic. And coming out the south, I have killers. Now, the final two? My final two, I think, is basically what everybody wants to see. That's the, 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 the most talked about game on game is Rock City versus performance skills. But of course, performance skills coming out on top. I understand that, I hear that complete, but I think this is going to play out a little bit different than what you got. Now the final four, I'm fine with that. I still have the coming out the East Performance Skill, the West Rock City, the North I still have um, Star Chiropractic, and the South I still have the Killers. No change there, but the final two, this is where I got you at. Okay. Listen to me, hear my words. The final two is going to be Performance Skills and Star Chiropractic. And winning it all, you know who's going to win it all. Performance Skills. but. <laughs> Now that you've seen our picks, we want to see yours. Go to uhlife.com so you can print you out a bracket, fill it out, submit it in by March 10th for a chance at bragging rights and a fabulous lifetime prize. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you at the Final Four.